and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5. On oh it for a survive the hunt. This is a survive the hunt, no limits. Uh, we are going to start, you know what, 1 minute 30. Let's go. Uh, we have a bunch of fools. Oh, I've got a wanted level immediately from all of this. Uh, well, here I've got a passenger as well. I figured I'd drive away from everywhere and then... Oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, and then I would kick the passenger out of the vehicle when they are away from uh, anything they can can use. Uh, or did they die? They might have dove out. We did have a passenger. There we go. I don't know whether... Oh, maybe I didn't press A to accept it. Whatever. They're gone. Half past one is the start time. I've got a two-minute head start. If you've not seen one of these before, there is a sticky bomb on the back of my car, but it's not going to matter. Um... I hope. Uh, <laughs> if you've not seen one of these before, uh, it takes pretty much the majority of the rules that uh, that we have in a Survive the Hunt and throws them out the window. Uh, the vehicle selection for the hunters can use whatever they want, including armoured cars, ramp cars, supercars, Formula One cars, tanks, planes, and all of that kind of thing. Now, they're not allowed to use the... Uh, weaponry on the vehicles. So you have a tank, you're not allowed to use the tank cannon uh, because it'd be one-shot kills on everything. Uh, how, uh, however, if by some miracle I steal said tank uh, and start firing, then they can fire the weaponry of theirs. Uh, although there's a million ways I can die in this. Uh, if I've, I've never really got close to surviving. The aim is to survive for one full day of GTA 5 time, uh, which is going to be difficult. I mean, honestly, I might have more luck just staying in the Dukes of Death uh, that I started here, but it's going to be an obvious thing. Don't go on a bike. That would be a death sentence. I'm heading into... The reason why I'm heading over here... The, uh, no, no, I thought that was a felt, sir. It's not. I want a supercar. Right? My best bet. And, I mean, it's not a particularly big... Well, that's not a big chance, but the best chance I get. Actually, that's a very, that's a very nice option. Yeah, my best option here is to get a supercar of some description, because then at least I've got pace. At least I've got straight line speed. Uh, the downside that I may face quite quickly here is the supercar will get broken. The supercar is going to potentially get hit by ramp cars and all of that good stuff. Uh, so, yeah, don't really want that. Uh, Infernus is about as good as I can get. I would think the Infernus, outside of the Veyron, occasionally adder, as it would be called on here, outside of that occasionally spawning, uh, I don't know if there's anything faster than the Infernus that spawns in traffic. Uh, the Voltic's better. The Voltic would probably be the best one, actually. Uh, while it's not as high top speed, the agility of the Voltic is probably marginally better. Now, there is another strategy, really, that goes on with this that I would look for. Uh, my best bet of surviving for a long period of time would perhaps be to steal one of the vehicles that the hunters are using. Now, that will be very tough. It has been done before. I stole a tank at one point. But it would be very difficult, especially difficult now without auto-aim or anything. Uh, if I stole a scramjet, for example, there's nothing they are ever going to be able to do. Uh, I mean, their best bet would probably be to get similar sort of vehicles, use aircraft, and track me with an aircraft and potentially try and knock me out of the sky with an aircraft. Uh, that might be their best bet. I'm sure they would develop a strategy to deal with a scramjet, but it would be tough. So if I can find a way whereby I can steal one of their vehicles, fantastic. If I could steal the ramp truck, for uh, the ramp truck's not very fast. It's damaging, but it's not very quick. Uh, that would be glorious. Yeah, we we know this is always going to be difficult. My yeah, my vehicle here is is possibly the best shout I've got outside of nicking their cars. And the downside of the Infernus is it will get damaged quite easily. The strength is, is going to be an issue. And when it does get damaged, actually, the other, the other downside is if there's a line of cars, you can bet they're going to hit the Infernus. If they've got like a ramp car, ramp truck, whatever, and they see a line of vehicles and one of them is an Infernus, I bet they hit the Infernus. Um, 
Uh, Joe, <laughs> Joe, the sticky bomb had dis de despawned. Uh, it wasn't actually on the back of the thing. I mean, I can do that. I actually thought I meant to do that anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, I thought I had... Uh, yeah, the, the bomb had despawned by the time I got into the city. But uh, we will we will remove it so they don't know where I where it might have been. And now we wait for a little bit. <laughs> now we wait. So they are free to use whatever aircraft they like in this. I said can't use the weapons, uh, but they are free to use whatever aircraft. There can be blimps, there can be helicopters, uh, there can be the microlight. The microlight is actually quite useful with the smoke trail. Uh, it can be used very effectively. I don't know if any other planes get smoke trails. They might do. Uh, I, that set of lights was the weirdest. It was green and barely any cars from our side actually could go. It's very odd. Um, but yeah. Uh, you know, I do think if... So there's a couple of a couple of people who are in very fast cars. I think Gliska's in one of the Group C style race cars. Blakey's in the Bautista style car that I've forgotten what it's called here on this game. If one of them is looking at cars, I would be very tempted to try and get out and shoot them to nick their even faster car. Uh, although, if I did get out and shoot and nick the car, is it going to be that much good for me? It would be faster than this, but it would only get us so far. There's an orange infernus. Fantastic. Uh, I don't quite know why it's parked up there like an idiot, but brilliant car. I love that of all of the possible... There are no rules for the vehicles giving chase. And the first vehicle we see is the Winky. <laughs> Why Crane insists on using it, I'm not sure. Uh, but, I mean, there's no rules against it. You can drive around with your Winky if you want. It's just probably not advisable. It's probably, I say driving around a bright red Inferno is probably not advisable. But to be fair, any Inferno is going to be bloody obvious at this point. Uh, it's always going to be quite a distinct colour. Not many of them spawn. I'm trying to keep this to the areas. I'm trying to keep the flames to a minimum as well. There's only so much that I can do about that, but uh, yeah, we will try and not have it spitting too much fire. The AI vehicles do spit fire as well, so it's not like it's only me that's going to be doing it, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it may well be a case or oh, uh oh oh no right i am prepared to fly oh well something's gone flying here we go Ooh, don't explode god damn it i liked my infernus my infernus was nice now my infernus is not nice Oh, now I've got to wait for another... Well, I say another supercar. You know, on foot might not be the worst place. To, that is something. I didn't really think about it initially when grabbing... Ah, supercar. I mean, it's actually... No, no. Oh, crap. I saw a flying car. I was trying to run and steal a banshee. Oh, there's another Infernus over here. Well, that'll do me nicely. Oh, uh, whoop. Infernus, please. If you will. Thank you. Uh, oop. Oh, God. We just got in that car in time. We we just got in this car in time. There's a scramjet going. So, one of the plus points... That was unbelievably close. One of the big plus points we get with this um, is that... Uh, oh, there's all sorts of mayhem going on. Uh, is that there's so much chaos occurring... So we are watching Gliska bully... I think, I'm pretty sure it's Gliska driving there. Uh, bully the uh, Winky there. Um, because there's so much chaos going on, I can probably drive less like an AI at times and still get away with it because cars are flying everywhere. There's wrecks all around the place. I could possibly have driven that in furnace, actually, because the damage was fairly minor. And you probably wouldn't notice because everything's damaged. Because vehicles are being chucked around all over the place, you know. It's not a surprise to go around a corner and find damaged cars because a ramp truck's just been through and launched a bunch of stuff. Uh, and you're not gonna, yeah, not gonna necessarily know. Uh, but uh, for 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 mitigating risks, I feel like we've done the right decision. We've, at the end of the day, we've got another Inferno almost immediately. 
I swear, <laughs> I mean, I said about the desync before, but uh, that was definitely not clear at all for you to pull out there. Um, but never mind. So far, uh, we, we've seen one ramp truck and been hit by it. We've seen a couple of flying cars. Um, we've seen the Winky around, but uh, I'm not that. That's the one vehicle I'm, as I said, I'm most definitely not afraid of. We are going to kind of cruise around this. I say wealthier area, where which is where we're more likely to see in in furnaces sporting inferni. However, whatever whatever the plural of these might be. Because, uh, yeah, we want the car to look like it belongs. If I wander too far away, uh, we could be in trouble. That was a random, weird, long-range, like, lot of a car just floating about. <laughs> sure, I have a feeling things are going a bit mad. Uh, oop, we can just cruise through there. Oh, I saw something big in the background and I immediately started worrying. But no, it's a bus. I mean, they could drive... There's no rules against them driving around in a bus. They could drive one just not expecting them to be. What is that? I saw a plane, I think. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Did I see a tank? There is a tank. You know what? I'm going to uh, exit as quick as I can here. I have a horrible feeling. Okay, no, the tank's on that way. The tank is being chased by an acid lab. As you do. Ooh. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, I'm going up this way. I, I, you know, I like being away from the tank. I feel like away from the tank is, is a good, a good way to go. Bloody hell. I am expecting, so much like when I'm on a bike, where it's a case of if they see a bike, someone's going to knock it off. I feel that this, with this game with this with this rule set when they see a supercar they're probably going to crash into it so if that tank had an opportunity i bet i would have been run over uh just just because it's a supercar but we got away from it thankfully that they're, they're so busy distracting themselves a lot of the time that i get I, I kind of survive things that i perhaps shouldn't what is okay yep there's a fighter jet <laughs> i could hear it i did see it oh no Oh no, the acid, the tank is here. Oh, lights, please go, please go, please go. Okay. Ugh, I'm very surprised. Although I guess the tank can't just run over everything, right? The tank can't just crush everything because it will explode. Okay, if cars blow up underneath the tank, I don't know how many the tank will take, two or three hits before it will give up. Um... But yeah, it doesn't take too too many, so I guess they are playing it a little bit careful. No idea who's driving the tank on this. But, uh, yeah, that's that might save me a little bit. So even if it does want to crush every supercar it sees, it can't. Because if they blow up the tank, they can call it back in again, but it takes time. You've got to faff around with the vehicle. So they are going to probably try and avoid blowing up the tank if they can. Uh, they've killed each other. Oh, well, someone killed Cray. Maybe it's Bumpy in the tank. The tank may well have driven over uh, <laughs> Crane's Winky that was following it around for a bit. Yeah, if I was in the weakest car... I heard a car alarm going off, but I couldn't see where. Uh, if I was in the smallest, weakest car, I probably wouldn't harass a tank. Just, you know, food for thought and everything. The jet's got overhead again. We've actually not done too terribly in terms of the time so far. We've had a few scary moments. We've been launched by a truck. There is just a jet whizzing around. The thing with a jet is, yes, it is helpful. It's very quick. It can get to an area quite efficiently, but I don't know if you can actually really see much. I don't know whether that was the VTOL plane or not. Um, it might have been. I did not get a look at it, whether it was just a normal... The, the original one, the laser. I can't remember what all of the planes are called now in this game. I, I know nothing about the aircraft of this, particularly. Uh, more of a car person myself. Oh, bugger me. Okay, it's gone the other way. I don't want to keep seeing a tank. Don't want to see a tank again. It's terrifying. I don't want to see a tank. It just does seem to be in this area. And I, the thing is, this is the area that I kind of have to cruise... Well, we have run over a person. 
They did admittedly dive headfirst under my wheel and I was already moving. <laughs> it's like, what am I going to do at that point? Uh, yeah, there's someone's burnt out buffalo. That's what the tank bounced off that freaked everybody out at that moment in time. Oh no. <laughs> it's just... It's just a terrifying... I think the tank is... I don't know whether the tank is better or worse than some of the other vehicles that we see around here. I mean, the plus point is I can outrun it. If the tank does clock onto me, I can just outrun it. The scramjet's quite scary to see. Because uh, that's just so difficult to outrun. Uh, are we going to go? There's something behind. I don't know what that is. There was a blue supercar back there. The police are angry, but that could well be to do with the tank. Uh, would not surprise me if it was to do with the tank. Uh, there is slightly laggy blue supercar whizzing around. Uh, oh, well, I'm just going to go anyway because I saw that. There is the race car. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'm going to guess the tank went through this area. <laughs> just follow the trail of destruction. And... Yeah, you'll know where the tank is. Oh, crap. Acid lab. And scramjet. And freaked out buffalo. And something exploded. Well, a dead buffalo. Something exploded. I don't know what. I don't know what killed the buffalo. Oh, more things are exploding. Don't like all of this exploding, if I'm being honest. I mean, I do reckon... When I say I do reckon, I don't know whether... See, so I'm pondering strategies, right? We're going to get in a chase at some point. I can't imagine we're going to be able... You know, we're not going to be able to go the whole way. Oh, I do not want to go the way the tank's going. Uh, I mean, I doubt... Doubt anyone is going to notice if I go this way. Oh! <laughs> Someone crashed the plane. You're going to wish I hadn't turned around that corner. That might have been one of the explosions we heard going on. Uh, sure. That's fine. Well done. Well done, whoever it was. And I guess they parachuted out of here. I should probably be a little bit careful because if they're on foot, they might want to. Stay, they're going to probably want to. Although they're going to call in a more interesting car than try and steal just a random Infernus that they see driving around. It's unlikely. I don't, just don't think I saw anyone die, so they may have parachuted out. Or I may have just missed it come up because of everything that was going on. I, it's possible. It's possible. So we've seen we've seen quite a few. Anyway, I got distracted by the plane plane crash or wreck. Um, what I was contemplating was a getaway strategy. If I get spotted, right, the chases are not normally long in this because of the vehicles they have access to. I've given myself the best chance I can with my car. Uh, what I was pondering was, do I ditch the car in the water? Uh, what the hell? Uh, that's a big aircraft. I don't think that's going to be any use, really. Yeah. I was pondering, was if we get in a chase, whether the first thing I do is just say, stuff it, and drive it in the ocean. Now, it would negate some of the things they can do. Some of the things they can do. The problem is, they, could, they would have access to subs. They'd have access to the submarine cars as well. Uh, so I could only, I would do it and then have to almost immediately get out of the water. Yeah... Uh, or very quickly lose them. I mean, uh, yeah. If I got if I got in a chase, I think my best bet would be to try and get to the docks, try and get to that sort of area where it would be very difficult to call in a car and like difficult to call in a sub car or anything to get close enough, quick enough, and I can just immediately, almost immediately, like jump in the water, swim a bit, climb out, and be ready to shoot my way out. I think that's going to be the best bet I have if I can even get far enough to do that. I mean, that's a big if, if I can get that far. Uh, I can hear a jet again. I don't like hearing all of these jets. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, they're just, they're very difficult to scout with. Was that a monster truck? in the background. Yes, I believe it was. <laughs> I, believe, I believe there was a monster truck just chilling out. I'm just going to keep going on. Oh, there's a Titan. It's just doing its thing. 
scouting around the city. I mean, it's quite a spectacular sight. That does not look safe. That really does not look safe. I mean, they've got it turned, to be fair. They have got it turned. I, aircraft, honestly, less scary to me than, like, a ramp car. A ramp car's terrifying, right? A ramp car, we already saw, the truck launched us. Uh, a ramp car can kill you without even knowing that it's actually the person they're hunting for. Quite easily, to be honest with you. Um, there goes the Winky once again. It's going up onto the motorway, that's fine. Uh, I was I was thinking they might have been checking the Infernus, but they didn't really look at it all too hard. Um, I mean, if... Yeah, if if Crane did start checking this car seriously, I don't know whether it's advantageous to get out and shoot. I think my best bet would be to run and run as quick as I could because my best bet might be to get away from the Winky as fast as possible because we know it can't really follow us very well. So if if it even looks like it's contemplating investigating us, I think I just boot it because uh, they'll know where I am, but I should be able to make distance and make distance quickly. Uh, that would be my hope. That's a lot of explosions. Oh crap, I'm just seeing... I'm seeing what's going on. Oh, tank. Jeez. Okay, I'm really glad I chose that moment to move. Uh, <laughs> I just... <laughs> I could hear the explosions. Couldn't see what was going on. Uh, when I did see the... just absolute mess of cars opted to ignore any traffic lights. I mean, at that point, the AIs are so freaked out that, yeah, it's not going to matter. Uh, I I think Bumpy might have been in the tank. I don't think Bumpy's in the tank anymore. But uh, there we go. We were so lucky there. There's a mess going on behind us. There's a fire engine going down there. That's Stevie stealing a rapid GT or something. It looks like maybe... Yeah, or Carabiners. Yeah, it looks like... Oh, crap. I have made a goof. Luckily... Whoop. Stevie actually went the other way. Whoa. I went down a one-way one street because I was far too busy looking behind me. And <laughs> Stevie, thank God, was not around. I did actually slightly ding my car up doing a U-turn. I don't think that's... I don't think in this rule set that's going to get noticed particularly. I do hear a lot of sirens this way, which is a concern. Oh, Titan. Hello. I mean, we're getting an impressive air show. Ah, the Winky's back. Hello. Oh, that's a big wreck. Good. Well held. Well held. I, I want to say that's the coquette, but I'm actually... No, is, is that the Rimac? One, whatever it's called. I didn't this again. I know my car's better, but there's so many new cars I don't remember all of them. Why are we doing U-turns up here? What's happened? Why are we all freaked out? I don't see any reason to be freaked out. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna ignore some lights here. Yeah, I don't see a reason to be freaked out. I'm not saying there's not a lot of reasons to be freaked out in this. There's a lot of reasons to be freaked out. <laughs> I can see something bad's happening over there. Um, do I? See, this is the moment. Do I choose to? Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. They are going to... We are very close. So we, we, we freaked them out to get a little bit of distance, right? That was the plan. If I can freak them out to get a little bit of distance and then just bolt, uh, they are potentially not going to know where I've gone. Uh, ooh, there's a gap there. Whee. Yeah, I don't think they know where I am. Although I can hear the drone of a plane. There's a Titan up above. Uh, Titan's a problem. I mean, planes are very difficult to follow a car, unlike a helicopter or a blimp. Uh, the longer I run, I don't really want to double back on myself. 
However, I can't keep going down that way. I saw something in the distance. What if we go... Oy. Okay. Go on here. Where is that aircraft? Whoa. Ah, damn, the race car's following us. Yeah, okay. Oh, plane turned up. It was Joe. Joe almost took out Gliska, to be honest with you. Uh <laughs> Right, so I know I can't outrun that car in a straight line. It's much, you know, clearly much faster than we are. Uh, what we can do is maybe use a little bit of traffic to our advantage here. We uh, Okay, get turned, get turned. Uh, now, oh. Sorry, we're going to concentration mode. Uh... Trying to just shoot some tires. That was more of a scare Gliska away strategy than anything, that one. Uh, now, I'm going to try something. Whether this is going to work is anyone's guess. Uh, oh, no, it didn't work. <laughs> uh, that's annoying. Oh, no, we got bonked by Brazen. I don't know why we couldn't... I mean, I say I don't know why we couldn't get the uh, get the kill on that one. Uh, should have got the shotgun out, to be honest with you. Um, I could have... I maybe should have climbed on top of the, uh, on top of the acid lab. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, that's... It's a bit of a frustrating one on, uh, on that. That is for sure. Um, it wasn't the worst plan in the world, but, uh, yeah, I think there were more around there than I realised, so we didn't really get to, we, the whole idea of trying to be off, I should probably have gone away from the, eh, I say got away from the bridge, it was a gamble that no one would recognise the, recognise us, or, or there was the hope on that one, but, uh, yeah, if I hadn't spun out, over there, I would have just taken it to the ocean, but the, the spinning out, to be fair, Gliska wasn't directly behind me, uh, as I thought, which did help. Which I had more time there than I realised, basically. Uh, I think, whether we'd killed Brazen or not, I think we were going to be in trouble regardless, uh, but I think we could have maybe, we could have maybe done better. Maybe. Uh, on, on that one. But there you go. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.